everybody and welcome to Weddlings Wedding DIY. I'm your DIY guru Brooke and on today's episode I'm going to show you how to make a decorated vase. Welcome back everybody. For today's DIY, I chose something that I've already made beforehand and it worked out really well and I thought it'd be a great idea for a wedding. A centerpiece, a glass, um, or even a candy dish holder. I made it for my sister-in-law for Christmas and she chose to use it as a candy dish. And it was really easy to make, really cost effective, and it was really fun. So that's why I chose it for today. The things you're gonna need for this are a hot glue gun, glue gun sticks, some different colored glass beads and again you can use any color that you like to match your color scheme. I've chosen blue because we are having blue at our wedding. And obviously a glass vase. Now you can use a cylindrical one, you can use a square base one, anything that you think would suit your wedding or you can just have a go at anything that you have in the house. And you're also going to need an old toothbrush as well. I've gone ahead and I've separated my colors. It's just to make it easier for you when you create your pattern and when you pick out the colors you want. The pattern I've already created, I've just lined it up on the table here so that I can get to it easy and I remember which one comes first and next. So I've arranged the pattern to fit the template of my vase. Now I'm gonna have five high and four across, but if you're using a round base one, you're just gonna go ahead and you're just gonna start putting them around there. If you wanna try it out first, just attach them with some blue tack and it'll help you find your right spot. Your hot glue gun, now always have your little glue sticks on hand ready to put in the next one, otherwise you're gonna run out of glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to start to put them on. You'll only need a small amount of glue when you put them on. So I'm gonna start by just putting at the base, just a small amount there, to put my bead on straight away. Now you're gonna get the little spider webs that come across, that's what our toothbrush comes in hand for. Brush it off as it goes on, and that way it won't stick to your glass and just keep going on with your pattern that you've already arranged. Just be remembering to keep the gaps between the beads even and that will give it a really nice and professional finish. There we go. Looks great, so now I'm gonna go ahead and continue my pattern for the next side. And it's always a good idea if you're having trouble keeping everything in line, do the bottom row and then do one of the sides and that will help you keep everything nice and in line. So like I said, if you think you're gonna have trouble keeping in line, do the sides. My last one for that panel. Go ahead and give that last clean, clean up there. So now that we're going to go ahead and do the corners, following our pattern, you're going to choose the correct colours, but this time we're going to put along a dollop of glue in each spot, but letting it dry, and then we're going to put another dollop of glue over top. Now the double layer of glue will allow our stone to be raised and it'll finish the pattern and follow the glass shape. Now that my glue's dried, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean it up. Do this after you put each row of, of glue on and it'll just be so much easier when you do it now as opposed to when the beads are on because you won't have as much space to be able to get in between all the gaps there. Great, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna add on my final bits of glue and then following on my pattern. There we go. Yay, look at that, all done. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So there you have it, your very own glass vase. 
Now you can use this for anything that you like. You can put a candle in it. You can use it as a candy dish on your candy table or even as a vase with flowers in it. So thanks again for watching. If you like what we did today, go ahead and let us know. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do it now. This is Wedlinks Wedding DIY. I'm your DIY guru, Brooke. See you next time.